there, the Lime at the Toy Temple, and today I'm taking a look at Marvel's Mysterio from the Spider-Man Far From Home Build-A-Figure Molten Man Wave. And have you seen that movie yet? Because if you haven't, oh man, is it really good. I actually really liked it. Anyway, the figure, straight out of the movie. I really want to get to opening this guy up. Comes with extra hands. Where are the accessories? Only extra hands? Where's the green stuff? The triangles? Hmm. Uh, on the side, you've got some really cool Mysterio art. And on the back, it says, The Master Illusionist Mysterio battles his foe Spider-Man using his wit and the technology embedded in his suit. Now, that's kind of a spoiler for the movie, if I'm being honest. So, you know, because the, the advertising buildup for the movie was, Is he a foe? Is he a friend? You know, they never showed them explicitly fighting, but then the back of this package was like, hey, yeah, he's a bad guy. Watch out. Watch out, Spidey. So, let's not wait any longer. Let's crack open Mysterio, and let's let's dig around in that fishbowl and see what's up. And I hope you'll join me. And here's Mysterio out of the package. And a lot of detail. A lot of great stuff. A great-looking figure. Now, I, I'm seriously in love with this thing. The green is so deep, so dark, really cool looking. Just the gold paint looks awesome. Unfortunately, the gold paint from this chest somehow didn't make his way over to his gauntlets. So those are still kind of an imitation brown, but you know, it's a, uh, it's a process. I've, I gotta get off the gold paint train some, at some point, but not today. The boots, also that brown paint, not painted gold. Mysterio deserves a little bit of, uh, you know, paint apps, but... Oh, there they all are. Wow, look at that design on that cape. Looking uh, very, you know, ancient, very mystical, very cool. I like it. Came out looking nice. You got the weird-looking eyeballs back there. One thing I always liked and I saw in the movie, and I haven't... They never explained it, is these little uh, clasps on the cape they're broken why are they broken is he just using a beat up suit what is it i love it just i wish there was more lore but you know you watch the movie and you'll figure out why there's not um so articulation wise he's got upper chest movement his head actually will just pop right off and there's nothing inside there's nobody i mean you look inside hello nobody nobody's home but that doesn't take away from the rest of the figure. What does take away from the rest of the figure is he's a little short for an MCU villain. We'll do the size comparison here in a sec, but he's very, very short. Uh, going back to articulation, got a little sidetracked. He's got shoulders that go up, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist has articulation and a hinge. They go up and down. He's got, does he have waist? No waist. But, again, the upper torso manages to do quite a bit for him. Let me just make sure there's no waste. There's no waste. Legs do not kick back, other than at the knee. They do kick out and in front. Double jointed knees, ankle pivots, a little loose, and ankle rockers. So, of good selection. Not bad, not bad. I like the sparkles in the helmet. I think that's really neat. And my lights are kind of reflecting off of it. Kind of looks like eyeballs, almost. That'd be cool if you could find a way to illuminate it. Ooh, that'd be nice. I've got Marvel's Mysterio, which they released last year. And yeah, he's a little shorter. And then I've got Spidey from the Civil War 3-pack. And that's a teenager. And then you've got this, uh, you know, adult. And he's slightly taller, but not all the way. And this will be a pretty quick review of the accessories, but he only comes with punch and power. Uh, they're painted okay, I guess, but really just two hands. That's it. Okay. For being a mystical action figure, he only comes with these two hands, which is fine. But if you really wanted to do Mysterio justice, you know, gotta give him some green effects of some kind, you know, just... Dress him up. Have some good times with it. Maybe a Jake Gyllenhaal head? I know this is a uh, 
Cosmic Spider-Man head, but why couldn't they include a Jake Gyllenhaal likeness? Okay, all right, so it kind of pegs on. That looks not too bad. But they did it with the Captain Marvel wave too, where they didn't include the uh, the villain's real head in there either. You could get away with using these effects, sure. You know, they're okay. They're not the triangles. So, what you could do is you could go down to the store for 10 bucks and find yourself a basic action figure. And this one comes with the triangles. So let's do this. I'm gonna open this guy up real quick. And then we're going to uh, make sure Mysterio here can properly blah, triangle at people. See now, how hard would it have been to include the Jake Gyllenhaal head, two hands, and then this triangle effect? How, am I going nuts here? I feel like this is really missing some key parts to his, uh, to his motif. But this triangle effect is awesome for, for this particular figure. It took a little bit of uh, manhandling to get it on like that, but I think it, I think it does the job. It's a little bit too large for one hand, but for two hands, that, that fits perfectly. However, if you can't find that figure, I've noticed it's very hard to find. You can use some old Marvel effects, and these, these will get the job pretty well. Uh, but yeah, if you, he needs accessories, flat out. And this just doesn't come with them, so bad score on that. However, altogether, the Mysterio figure, take away the head, you got the hands, this thing I'm keeping on. I think it's a great figure. Definitely, for me, a four out of five. I mean, I like it. It's got a lot to love, a lot that needs work, specifically the accessories, but I'm so psyched that they made a pretty decent Mysterio action figure. And he looks really good. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I can really ask for when it comes to a Marvel Legend. Does it appease me? And it does. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Hit like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you watched the movie. Did you like that end of the credits scene? I loved it. Oh, it was so good. No spoilers. Just a yes or no. Don't want to spoil it quite yet. Maybe in a month. But yeah, check me out on Instagram and Twitter, both at the Toy Temple. And remember, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love. Oh, I got it.